Welcome to a new Airbus Instruments tutorial. In this video, you will learn how to integrate SCADA software to the EI monitoring system for Modbus applications. First, we have to access SCADA through its administrator. Here, we will create our new project with the new project button or with the top left button. Any of these buttons will open a window where we can name our project. We can also choose the location of the destination folder. Once ready, select OK. Automatically, Administrator will create a navigation tree where our information will be added. Now, we will add a communication line to our project. Give it a name and select OK. Then, we will push the Add Device button to open a window where we will name our device and select its type as Modbus. In address, write the number 1. Now, for the call number, we will choose the monitor IP shown on Gateway. To confirm, open EI Monitoring System and on the Settings tab, on Get IP Address, we can corroborate that the IP address is the same that we previously wrote. Once that we got the correct information, select OK. It's important to change in the line parameters the type of communication channel and define it as TCP client. The TCP server in this case corresponds to our device. Also, in server properties, it's necessary to define the communication line protocol to Modbus TCP. In this same window, we will create a new template for the device. In this window, we can create a group of elements. Here, we can choose the sensor code to name the group and when we create it, select the holding registers option as data type. The elements correspond to output units or receive data from our sensors. We can name each one of them as the data they represent and it's important to choose the float option as 4 bytes as type. We will add a new command that we will act as our output data channel. As data type, it's also important to choose the holding registers option. We choose the save option, write the name of the template and save in the destination folder. Close the window and click OK. The next step to set up is our device's channels with the create channels button. It will open a window with our project's general information, then click Next. In the next step, on Object, select Enterprise, then Next. On the last step, it will show the channels that are going to be created for every element in our template. Click on Create and it's done. To confirm that our channels were properly created, right-click on Output Channel, then click Refresh. Now, we can see all of our output and input channels for our project. We also need to link these output channels to our input channel. In input channel, we will write the number of output channel. Remember to always save your setup when working with SCADA. Right-click on interface and select new folder. In this folder, we will save our communication line information. We will right-click on a recently created folder and then select New File. In the window, select Table View and choose a name for the new table. Now, search for the table file and double-click on it. On the window, right-click on the device and add all of the items to the table. Then, save the changes and close the window. Now, we need to link all of our files and folders to our project. Select Interface and in Select File, we search for the file of the table we recently created. Once selected, save the changes and upload the configuration to the SCADA localhost. Click on Upload and it's ready. 
To finish the setup, we can visualize our table in the SCADA localhost through a web browser. Access with the address localhost slash SCADA. User and password by default are admin and 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 respectively. Here, we can see the table and if we already made the connection with the EI monitor, then we will see our assigned data from the register window. If you haven't assigned it yet, you can watch the Modbus integration video that is on our page. We hope this information has been useful to you. For more information, visit herbestinstruments.com.